our breakwater has been a source of discussion for years here in Long Beach. What role will it play in restoring the aquatic ecosystem? Will it be modified? How? And most importantly, what changes can be made to increase tidal circulation in the East San Pedro Bay while still protecting existing homes and maritime operations? Soon the answers to these questions and more will be answered as Mayor Robert Garcia signed an agreement on January the 20th with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineering to begin the Bay Ecosystem Restoration Study. I want to say two things about the study. The first is that I believe that getting the science and the data will allow us to look at what our, the possibilities are. Obviously, when you look out on this coastline, uh, the fact that we have what is probably the largest breakwater, or certainly on the west coast in front of a city, but possibly in, in the entire United States, uh, is, has had an impact on our community. It has changed our coast, it's changed uh, the beach, it's changed the way we interact with the water. And so there's an opportunity uh, to uh, possibly reimagine and rethink the way we, we interact with our coastline. And then the second thing I wanted to say, uh, and this is an important message to our residents that live along the coast and to our, uh, our Port of Long Beach uh, and the infrastructure that we have, is that a huge part of why we're doing this is to get definitive answers on what we can and can't do. Uh, and it may, we may get answers that uh, some of us may love and other, others of us may not love. But having that science and data is important because we've had this debate for such a long time. This restoration study will focus primarily on restoring the aquatic ecosystem while also conducting wave modeling analysis to assess surface wave impacts on existing infrastructure, navigation, and recreation. Well, you know, this is a three-year effort, uh, and there's a lot of data collection, there's a lot of study, there's a lot of understanding what the true condition of, uh, of, the, of the area is today. And then to, once we figure out what, what is the, the condition that we need to try and, and address, then we have to try to figure out what's the most cost-effective way uh, to address it in a way that, uh, that gets the biggest bang for the buck, so to speak. And so we don't really know. We know that there's a problem, but we don't know to the extent the problem exists right now until we get out and take a look at it. And that's what we'll be doing over the next three years. To sign up for regular updates on this study, including upcoming community meetings, go to www.longbeach.gov forward slash link LB.